uh, I would say theft is immoral because it harms the person having something stolen from them in, in ways that um, it, not just being deprived of the property, but also the psychological harm of being put in that situation. So is theft um, only immoral in cases then where it harms the other person or? I mean, arguably, yeah, pretty much. If it doesn't harm anybody, I don't see it being immoral. Um, okay. But just for, I guess, for, for the record, so I would consider theft to be taking something by which someone else has the right to without yeah. their consent. That's what I would sure. say. That, that, that's, a, that's a perfectly fair definition. The issue is, is that it's entirely well, but, subjective who has a right to what. Like, Well, but I wouldn't say that. So, for instance, in society, right, money is literally created by the government. The government, through, yeah. its, through democratic means, has processed an established process by which they have the right to collect taxes. So when the government comes to me to, quote, unquote, steal my money, it's not theft at all. The government has a right to that money because the government has laws by which it can collect, it can levy taxes against me and collect taxes from me. So I can't call that theft. It's not right. taking something. That right. I but the only reason the government has the power to do any of that is it conquered this territory with its military and is no. able to. The reason why oh, it has yeah, the right absolutely. to do that is because it provides services and everything to me because I exist in a society uh, where I have that agreement set up with the government. I exist. We, in we a should definitely argue about the state sometime because this was this is great. But I, I will say that the the fact that it provides services is simply to make it mo appear um, more justified and therefore maintain its uh, monopoly on the justified use of force. I think the force came first and the um, services came later. And I think historically, we've also seen that. Um, now, again, I don't think it's, it's bad. I like that the government provides services. I think it should provide more services. But at the same time, I don't think that the states, the fact that the state conquered a territory and it, it is, it's and its laws are based on violence and I understand the, all that, regardless um, of any of that, I think I just the foundation just doesn't matter. I would argue that if you exist in some state and you withhold paying your taxes, I would argue that you're the one stealing. Like mm -hmm. you're the one that's committed theft at that point because you're agree, you're existing in some system where everybody has some buy-in. Like for instance, yeah, boom, I, okay, I, well, I, wait, I, wait, 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 just yeah. crazy other. Mm -hmm. Let's say that there exists some commune. And mm -hmm. these people all collectively have like, um, fucking, we'll say it's a goddamn para, a para econ commune, okay? Where these people oh. run a farm, they've doled out mm -hmm. their responsibilities to everybody, they have divvied out all of their um, high, um, all of their, um, oh God, what was the word Michael Albert used? For work that is fulfilling, for work that is. Um, uh, oh, uh, but, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, onerous work. Onerous work. Uh, the onerous work, and then the there's like a high th f fulfillment work. Oh, fuck, I don't remember what it is. But there, some work is very fulfilling, some work is not fulfilling. They've doled it all out, they've created a commune. Let's say that somebody else moves in next to that commune. Mm -hmm. Oh, empowering work. Yeah. Somebody moves in next to that commune and they see that there's like a whole bunch of fruit that exists there. Well, let's say they move in, they set up like their little house and everything and they're cool. And let's say that they just walk over every day and they start picking some of those fruits. I think that the people in that uh, in that commune can look at that person and say like, wait, what the fuck? You're literally stealing from us. What do you mean? The guy's like, well, no, it's fruit. It exists on the land. It's like, well, now hold on. All of us are allowed to take of those fruits because we all have a shared agreement with one, with mm -hmm. one another that allows us to, you know, put in some amount of work in society and then reap some benefit from society. You can't come and just reap the benefits of society without putting anything in. That's not fair. That's not part of the agreement that we have here. Yeah. Well, what you're essentially saying is, is that the ownership there is generated by possession and use, which, um, by the way, most anarchists myself would agree in a human term. However, let's just zoom that out a little bit and imagine an alien race came here and watched that happen. They don't know anything about human um, custom with regards to what belongs to one person, and what doesn't. All they see is, oh, those people are eating the apples and now that other, that other human is eating the apples. Interesting. Because again, theft is subjective. It, it, it doesn't exist within reality. It only exists within human, within I mean, like, human minds. It super depends on how we define that because we might be able to 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 really ground that out in some yeah. physics well, well, argument uh, like oh yeah. wow interesting some creatures have expended some amount of necessary energy mm -hmm. to uh create some structure and now another creature that hasn't invested any energy to the creation of that structure is now partaking in it i like there are, i'm sure that there are ways that we can make alien creatures understand theft well um, not even just alien all creatures i mean think about um the squirrel stores up a bunch of nuts and then a freaking uh squirrel or another mouse finds the store and eats a large portion. The squirrel of it. probably considered that theft. They're not going to sh share that, well, right? They're not going to share it, but I don't. But a squirrel doesn't really have a concept of theft. A well, a maybe not. Sure, but I mean, we would say it's the squirrel now. But again, we're not squirrels aren't moral agents. I guess we're not putting them on the same. Yeah.
So be, because morality is a human thing and applies strictly to humans. So as I'm saying, theft is objectively the same. Property is theft. Ha having something be your property and having something stolen from a uh, objective standpoint is exactly the same thing. These are dependently originant concepts because they both arise within the human mind as opposed to within nature. Okay, I don't necessarily disagree, but... Awesome. 